I finally took your advice and I, I spent the day outside. I wish I could take credit for that idea, but that was a bell. He messaged me at 3 a.m. of all times. Didn't tell me what we were doing, where we were going. Just said, be ready at noon with swim trunks. So I got a scrape together, uh, swimsuit, water bottle, sunscreen, towel, uh, just in time for him and Klima to be at my door at noon where they then took me on a 45 minute TTC trip. Never bothering to tell me where we were going. And that was before we started hiking. You know, the bus has air conditioning. Outside, it was torture. Still managed to be pretty fun until we got to the beach. I just was warning them don't know how to swim, don't expect me to swim. They just went, oh, it's fine, Sheldon. Don't worry, Sheldon. So we got our bags set down, towels set up, and, and then the two of them just raced into the water. Splashing each other, going to the surface. Uh, and I just waded through the water behind them, uh, which is nice. I appreciated the break from the heat. Really nice. Uh, until I got a little too deep. If we were scraping at the bottom, uh, the water was creeping up my face. I thought to tread, float, but I couldn't. I just, I just froze. Uh, Bell noticed that he, he looked at me and said, hey, Sheldon, are you all right? And I called out <laughs> very calmly. No, I am panicking. <laughs> so he zipped right back over, Kalim was right behind him, uh, and they calmed me down, reminded me how to swim. I, I had this, this moment where both my hands weren't theirs. I was kicking behind me, and I just realized I really have friends who I can trust with my life. I'm sorry, were you speaking to me? No, sorry. No, I was just 